Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Duo. Do you guys like Google Keep but wish it was more privacy focused and you can self-host it? Well, I've got the perfect app for you. It is called Memos and uh, let's get right into it. All right guys, and here we are. So the website is usememos.com and uh, you can basically see here, uh, there's a live demo, you have your Discord and it talks about how it is a privacy first, lightweight note-taking service. So uh, you can scroll through here, view the screenshots, which are absolutely fantastic. Really enjoy this. Um, tells you all the good things about memos. Um, it is Markdown, of course, which a lot of people really like. It is completely open source. And uh, let's head back up here. We can see the memo ourselves. So I already clicked that sign in button. It's just a demo sign in. So for here, you can uh, basically see that it is very similar to Google Keep. Um, it has these little posts that you can kind of type into. So I can just do a test here and hit save. And you can see it popped up just uh, right there. And if you want to edit it, come back in here, click on edit, and you can make it some changes. Add uh, tags, pictures, links, whatever you'd like with here. Very similar to Google Keep. Um, on the left here, you can see that we have a timeline of items and things that were posted when they were posted. We can head to resources and this basically shows you all of your pictures and PDFs in a single pane. Uh, we can head to explore and explore talks about um, uh, each post that you've, uh, you've put out and um, it shows you others that have posted in here as well. So uh, one of the really cool things about Memo too is that you can um, add other users to it. Once you have these other users, you guys can share and see each other's posts. So if I wanted this to be public, saying something like, hi, Mike, I can do that. Come over here, make it public, save it. And now that is public, Mike would be able to go to um, explore and see hi, Mike here, if he had an account. So uh, let's just continue on the left here. Here's your profile, kind of goes through all that, your inbox, uh, any archive notes. So for instance, if you came back here, um, let's say we have this test. We want to edit this test. Let's just uh, play around with this briefly. So we do a YouTube test as the tag, right? And we hit save. We now have a new tag called YouTube test. We can click on that tag. The tag just popped up on the right here of our tags that we've created. And now we have our YouTube test. So any tag, any uh, post with this tag on it will appear. So that is really cool. Once I am done with this, we want to archive it. Now it's gone. We head back to home. YouTube test is not there anymore because we no longer need it. It's under the archived and you can search and find your items in here for the archive. So it's very similar to Google Keep. Um, so now if we head over to settings, we can see a lot of information here about a different account sign-ins. You have your tokens, which you can copy and use to sign into different devices, which is very cool. Uh, we'll head to preferences. You can change all of your uh, preferences here. Member. So here you can see different um, accounts. So um, in this demo, they have Jack, they have Bob, uh, and you can all share and work together and collaborate. Um, basically, almost like a social media too, if you wanted to make it that way as well, um, posting things publicly to each other. Uh, so we can head back to system. You can see that there's the server name here, the database file size, which is very cool. It's incredibly small and you can vacuum it to even compress it even more if it starts to get big, if you have a lot in here. Um, and you have a bunch of different um, items here that you guys can um, change um, all your settings for. Storage, you can use your local file system. You can also use, I believe, S3 storage as well, if you wanted to set that up. And then there's an SSO. So you can set up key cloak for authentication um, to sign into the device to make it more secure. So that was a really brief overview of memos. Um, so far, I really, really like it. Um, let's say we wanted to search for just, um, let's say, notify. I see that in one of the one of the items here comes up, shows me notify. So the search works really well as also. So um, let's get into uh, making this self-hosted. So um, I have a Portainer instance 
This is currently running on a Raspberry Pi 3, which is um, cool enough. So it's so lightweight that it runs perfectly on here. We'll go to add stack. We're gonna do memos. So I went to stacks and then add a stack um, and I'm going to paste in our um, Docker Compose file here. So let me just get this Docker Compose file. I'm gonna copy it and paste it in and feel free to co um, copy this along. I will add this to the description. So you can see that um, we're using the memos image right here. It tells us that we're using the latest one, container name, the volume, where this is gonna be stored. You can change the local volume um, where you want this to point. If you wanna point this to a mounted volume for um, a NAS or something like that, you can. And then here's the ports as well if you would need to change that. So it's really light, there's not much here. And all we have to do from here is click deploy. And once we hit deploy, we're gonna get a little notification, stack deployed successfully which is great. So we can head to containers, see that it is running. We're gonna give it just a couple seconds here to make sure that it does finish running. We can come in here and see the logs in the console. Um, looks like it's starting up, port 5230. So it's already started. So let's, uh, let's hop into that. So this is our first time signing into this account. Uh, we can just make this whatever we want. So I'm gonna make this Nick, uh, password is gonna be, um, just YouTube test and then sign up and we are in. So it's really simple. I can come in here, look at the daily reviews, make my private tag here, um, uh, make chicken parm. I'm just gonna add a tag in here, dinner and hit save. And now we have a tag for dinner. We have um, our post and there it is. And that is really great. So we can come back in here, go to members. You can see that I have Nick. I wanna make Mike. His password's going to be, um, just make a password here. And now we have a Mike. So, so just to go over the memo just a little bit more, you can see that we have our tags. We can add, upload photos, local files, external links. We can, uh, we can click on this and do different references to other posts that we have here. So we can do memo IDs and add it to this particular post. We can do check boxes. Um, let's see, uh, we need to make a chicken breadcrumbs. And you can save that and now it becomes a checklist for you. And then you also have a code block here as well. So if you wanted to, let's say, po paste in um, this YAML format here, you can hit save, and that will save it into a code block. All right, guys, that sums up today's video. Hopefully you guys uh, try this out, self-host it, and uh, let me know what you think. Take care.